Yo, what's going on, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Slope Podcast. Hey, you know what it is? Your weekly podcast from the Soccer Michi series, Idol Groups. It's going to be Nogi Zaka 46, Sakura Zaka 46, Hinata Zaka 46, and Yoshimoto Zaka 46. This is season 4, episode 40. Oh my god, we just keep coming out with him. Uh, this week we got a, a, little, a little sparse news, but you know, we, we'll, we'll, we'll find a way to pad it out. Before we get to all that, I'm one of your hosts, I'm Jimmy, aka Jimmy Tweets, and I'm joined as always by my friends, my fellow hosts, of Boy Boy Coon, and Josh, Mr. Josh Box. Yo. Hello. How's it Hello. going, fellas? It's going, it's going good. Going okay. Yep. Same here. Recently, it was TwitchCon. Yes. Ooh. I went, and we ended up all going to San Diego to meet up for a bit. Mm -hmm. Eat some barbecue. Yeah. You know, some Phil's barbecue. Yes, sir. We had sir. a grand old time. Yeah, dude. We we got the uh, the 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 Jimmy podcast cinematic universe, dude. <laughs> you know, <laughs> oh, we had we had there. Slope Club there. We had uh, NKB there. We had that failed podcast that Dave and I recorded one episode <laughs> for and never <laughs> published there, dude. It was, ooh, <laughs> yeah. The Dave uh, was there. Unfortunately, yeah. no video. No video. We just we just met up for uh, for yeah. food and to hang out. Because uh, ain't no one was going to edit that video, even if we <laughs> did take video. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it was, it was good. It was, um, it's been a while since I went down to San Diego. You know, I used to live down there. But um, I, I left. Like, I meant to go meet Jimmy earlier in the day because we just had dinner. Mm. Um, but, like, I, I took a nap and I ended up sleeping too long. So I... By the time I had to leave, it was like the worst time to leave, because it took me like two Dude, when, hours. When, when you said more in than the two Discord, hours, like I'm I'm gonna head out now. I was just like, oh, baby, yeah. no. <laughs> See, because if I left any other time, it would have been like mm -hmm. later than the the time we we wanted to meet. Yeah, but yeah. That reminded me things. of there's one time there was like a baby metal concert that we're uh, that we were all meeting up for. But I was already in San Diego that weekend, right? So I was like, oh, okay, I'll just drive back up to L.A. Uh, for that concert and then stay up there or whatever, right? I was like, uh, I don't want to leave too early because then, like, I won't have shit to do in L.A. So I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll just leave so I get there with, like, maybe an hour ahead of time to, like, fucking chill in, in line with everybody. Dumb move because that was like yeah, you know, was like when I still was first living in LA, so I didn't understand how traffic worked. Mm. You know? So like that drive became like a four hour drive. Oh, I I barely got there in time, dude. Like you know, like doors were already open. I think I think like the first song had already played. I was like, oh. <laughs> Hey guys, I made it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Freaking traffic. It's mm. terrible. But um yeah. Just remember that drive, it's like, oh man. Just like old time. A <laughs> San Diego. <laughs> Shit, my... But how I was the uh... San Diego drivers are the worst. Like I thought LA was bad. Really? San Diego drivers. They're oh. their own breed. It's because they're not predictable. They're just like sometimes oh. slow and then they yeah. like jerk jerk and then go in. And I'm just like, if you're gonna be aggressive, be aggressive. <laughs> Yeah. Or something. but yeah i was like josh and i were talking about that when uh we were hanging out sunday because I, I feel like i i mean i'm used to it because I, I live in san diego right but then like when i moved to la that's when i realized like yeah la i i, I in my opinion as someone who's used to san diego i still think la drivers are worse but i know what you mean because like at least la drivers i know what to expect you know like they're just gonna be assholes one hundred percent of the time, dude. So mm -hmm. once you once you have that in your mind, you know how to work around it, you know. Mm -hmm. But like in like cause San Diego is like weird. It's like a big city, but not, you know. In some ways, like it's a big city, but then we have like so many like smaller neighborhoods that are just kind of like suburbs that like you don't know which one you're gonna get, dude. You know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how was uh how's Twitch Con, dude? I heard some some things be happening. Yeah, it was good. But, uh, um, actual you convention, do? you know, different boots and everything. Get free stuff, get free swag. Just like how I got the stream elements Ooh. shirt. 
from uh, shout outs to stream elements our local yeah, if you ever if you're ever wondering where we get our alerts and stuff like that pop up you know we're using the stream elements oh, there we go thank you Wait. staff Please get us the crunky <laughs> sponsorship. <laughs> yeah, Josh uh, finally got to meet his hero, Amaranth. <laughs> John always says that. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, talk to a couple of people. Right on. Um, Making the connections. Yeah. Uh, met some new people, made some friends, you know. It, it was basically just hanging out. And then, like, the convention was, like, the excuse, right? Hmm. Like people from all over just came. Excuse for all the Twitch streamers, the meetup. Mm -hmm. Like if you guys know any famous Twitch streamers, like they're just like walking around with like the public, and then like people just like stare. Oh, look at them! Or stop to take pictures, you know. Like you saw XQC or Hassan, you know, just walking by. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Like I'm not into the Twitch thing, so it's like I, I know of the big names and stuff, but you know, I'm like, oh yeah, that's that's XQC. Cool. Yeah, but also not. Am I am I Look right? Logan. Juicers. Juicers. <laughs> XQCL. Yeah. Dude. So. Yeah, me 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 keeping up with Twitch streamers. I feel like uh, I'm 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 the hey, what's up, my fellow kids meme. You know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially I mean, I since like I, I don't really watch any yeah. Twitch streams, so. Mm. I would like you know I, yeah. I watch more YouTube stuff. Like I, I, I'm not gonna name the, the streamers I know because then I'm just gonna out myself as being a, a giga simp on Twitch. But you know, <laughs> as if people my, don't already know, dude. tier three yeah. sub four. Yeah, my queen Pokimane didn't go, so so neither did I, dude. Oh, you know, hey, why did he even go to San Diego? Oh, that's right, it's I, to I, eat I, with I, my bros. <laughs> <laughs> Pokimane not here. Why am I even here? <laughs> Suffered. <laughs> A two-hour drive just for nothing. <laughs> Without my queen, my Moroccan princess of Canada, dude. Uh, dude, yeah, I was just like, I was like, mm, something tells me that Pokemon's gonna be sick in uh, during the week of TwitchCon, dude. No, I will not buy my ticket. <laughs> <laughs> the premonition. But, uh, oh, but I, I kind of like you know just just from hanging out with you guys had a little bit of FOMO. I think I think I'm probably gonna go next year. You know, mm, at the very no. least, like you know, uh, I, I think it's a cool like yeah, just kind of like what you were saying, like a, an excuse to hang out with people. You know? Yeah, for sure, that's cool. But we'll see. I, I done <laughs> fucked around and I said yes to too many things lately. Anyways, uh, I was telling a little bit about that during the pre-show. Like, uh, I I am literally booked out every weekend. Ooh. From now through Thanksgiving, damn, you, you guys know? better <laughs> you know schedule it next you year. Cancel it in, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I was like, twenty twenty two is about a book up for Jimmy. I like, I literally made this tweet like, like sometime last week. I was like, oh man, dude, in a couple weeks things are gonna get kind of hectic, and I completely forgot that I told some friends that I would like be down to like stay at their place this weekend and we like do a whole thing. So I was like, fuck, okay, so that's this week, this coming weekend. Then Monday is fucking band made. Right then, the next weekend is uh, OC Japan Fair, mm -hmm. and then the weekend after that, I'm refereeing a powerlifting meet. Mm -hmm. Then the weekend after that, I'm going to uh, Ren Fair with Ooh. some friends. That's tentative. If I'm alive still, I'll go. But like, if I'm like <laughs> I'm tired, if I'm it's poor our trip. Oh no! If I'm just beat, <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna to be like guys. Come on. <laughs> uh, then after that. I'm refereeing a powerlifting meet. And then we have Vegas. And then after that, I'm refereeing another powerlifting meet. And then Man. after that is Thanksgiving. So much refereeing. Yeah, dude. All right. but, um, Ugh. Good luck to you. Fair is renaissance fair. Over these next few weeks, man. May you not die before our trip. <laughs> 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 He's we need him to pay his, his share for the hotel <laughs> and the van. <laughs> nah, dude, because like we were joking around with it with Tron when we were uh, what is it hanging out uh, Sunday night. But I do mean it, dude. I I, I want to show out this year when we go to Vegas, dude. You know, right on. Like, let's go. I'm mm -hmm. alive. You know, I I could have died alive. earlier this year. It was really <laughs> bad, dude. And I that's kind of why I've been like saying yes to things, you know, because like I. 
Busting out like, the okay. fish poles. <laughs> Busting out the fishing poles. If you know, you know. But like, uh, I'll I'll probably tell chat that later. But anyways, um, uh, what is it? I I moved like you know I lived in L.A. So I like not intentionally, but I I just kind of lost contact with a lot of my San Diego friends, and then I moved back to to L.A. I'm but moved back from LA to San Diego right around when COVID became a thing. Right. Mm-hmm. And so I just really like, you know, for there was like a good long time where I just didn't hang out with people. And then I think I kind of got set in that pattern of like, you know, not really hanging out with a lot of my, my old friends and stuff like that. Right. Cause like, you know, so I used to hang out with my LA friends mm-hmm. and then, and then early at the beginning of this year, I was like, you know what, I'm going to make a more conscientious effort to keep up with my, my San Diego friends. And then, and then I went to the hospital. <laughs> oh. And then, you know, and then it's been like this whole recovery thing after that. So now I was like, okay, yeah, let's do all the things, dude. I'm, I'm here. Let's go. And I'm like, all right. Oh, I'm also kind of old and tired. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, let's let's yeah, live in live your best life, guys. <laughs> um. Do you know who else is living their best best life though? These uh these new members of Hinata Zaka oh. forty six oh. they showed out. Segway. So shall we uh shall we get to some of the news, my friends? Let's talk about some news. All right. Uh, uh yeah, we we'll always kick it off with Hinata Zaka first. Mister Box, <laughs> take it away, dude. Yep, Hinata Zaka is first, and they announced something new. It is a documentary. Ooh, everyone's oh. favorite. Ooh. And it will be about fourth gen. Already. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Who expected this? No one. There we go. So it looks like they're each going to get one. One day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one member. Just like yeah. how they were initially introduced. Starting today or tomorrow as of this recording. So um, I... I, I like this. I, I, I it makes me think of the the similar thing that Nogizaka did with fifth gen, except I think they put like you know like three or four members per video or something like that. Because mm-hmm. I feel like that's when I it's they the the members started clicking for me. Uh, right? true. Okay. Because like you know it's like okay this first like nine second teaser of Inoue Nagi taught me nothing. The only thing I could tell you about her is that like. She had the split bangs, you know, or like yeah. you know, like the split, like that's what it was for, part. right? You know, you you know their yeah, name, yeah. you you see their looks. That's for the visual. So. Yeah. And then you know, once we got the actual videos, like, oh, dude, this girl does like archery and shit, and she draws. And, you know, I was like, Dang yeah, it. you know, you, yeah. That's when you kind of start getting a vibe for them, I think. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, looking forward to the first one, in like seven minutes um, oh. can we stall this out oh, no. uh, <laughs> once again so you know i'm i'm trying to get into like running more serious <laughs> oh okay, okay you know the foot placement you know <laughs> yeah you know like I'm, yeah, you, you guys right are you a heel striker or a four foot striker anyway <laughs> <laughs> um yeah first one should be like t- now i guess in, in a couple mm. more minutes but uh yeah it looks like these documentaries are going to show like their skills and stuff very similar to the Nogi mm-hmm. one. So, uh, yeah, it looks like someone plays a flute. Someone some piano, baton thingy, some a calligraphy. Uh, yeah. You know, um get to see who who's like right cuz like, comparing to Nogi fifth gen, some of them are like really skilled. Like, uh, what's her name? Okamoto did, like, ballet, and she mm-hmm. went to Russia and yeah. all that shit. And uh, what's it? Kawasaki Sakura did as uh, ice skating and whatnot. Yeah. And then Duck is really good at drawing or whatever. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see in uh, five minutes. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's, it's going to be it's gonna be interesting to see how, uh, you know, like, this is going to shape our initial impression of them. But then when we actually start seeing them on variety shows, oh, yeah. I think that's like, you know, it's going to be so different, right? I, I, I think the best example I can think of immediately is like Duck, 
when I when I first saw her, like her her videos and stuff, like oh wow, dude, she's like the 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 school beauty, you know, like the arts the art class beauty, you know, like with her like talented drawing and she has like a very refined elegant look to her mm-hmm. and then you you see her like in person in in like just video format you're like can't even open her eyes a, dude yeah she's a fucking goober dude you know <laughs> and like i don't know that like that's more endearing to me right that gap mm. so i i i'm looking forward to that like kind of yeah. getting like somewhat of a vibe of this girl and then just being like oh no but she's actually like this you yeah know? yeah are there are there any of the of the fifth you think that are still the same after like the initial impressions that mm. you got from their videos? I feel like maybe Nagi because I always feel like she was like more. Yeah, I feel like the same as her. You know, because she's like, oh, this girl's just good at everything. Okay. It's... Yeah, yeah, you gotta got that impression. And she's still she's good at everything. Yeah. She she still is. There's no, there's no yeah. difference. So. Yeah, uh, I mean, if I had to say anything about Nagi, I think like I wasn't expecting her to be as like, what is it like, like she ha- she has this like very big, like pairing almost relationship with uh Satsuki, right? And I I, di- I didn't think that she would be the one to fangirl over another member so much. Mm. Yeah. Ah, uh-huh. yeah. Okay. So yeah. That, that was. Uh, I I feel like and this is so so sad and I I don't mean it in a in a mean way, but the one that's like the most to me is like Okuda Iroha, in the sense that I'm like, this girl is gonna be an unders for the rest of oh, her no. life. Oh no! <laughs> no! Dude, I I feel like if she was in any other generation, it'd be whatever, but fifth gen just came out the floodgates so hard. That she, I feel like she came out at like a a good normal pace, and then that, but then that just makes her feel like behind, you know. Mm. Like any any other standard, it would be like okay, you know, they're progressing fairly yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. But then everyone's so powerful that. Yeah, I yeah. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm really fucking wrong, dude. I hope <laughs> like months from now I'm eating my words, dude. I'm like, damn, dude, this girl is the next face of fifth gen, dude. Oh my god, dude, she has. <laughs> It's like 5th oh, gen or that, all the Z fighters. And she's is just that IC? <laughs> <laughs> is that the 5th gen's IC, dude? Not TN, dude. Oh, my. TN. Like, bro. it's so cool. But then, like, they just get stuck, you know? <laughs> dude, to be fair, I don't I don't even think she's TN, dude. I think she's, like, she's, like, Chiaotzu. Oh, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> oh no. You dropped it to even Chiaotzu worse. Why you gotta do this to her, bro? At least TN has a... These cool moves, yeah. Got the eye. Dude, I was gonna I, say Yamcha, but I didn't want to stoop that low. No. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I I wanted because okay, here's the thing. It's been, I felt like if anything was gonna be her her big opportunity, it was gonna be Star Tanjo, right? Because her 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 whole thing is a uh, you know playing guitar and singing and stuff like that. <laughs> True. And and it were like 25 episodes in. I think and initially, like, yeah. initially, she mm. she had been pretty consistent, yeah, right. But that was before Aruno came, right? Because Aruno wasn't in the first few. I don't know. <laughs> that, that was like right. She wasn't there. I, I got the, I got some tweets to leak, dude. I'll be oh, right no. there. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I need Iroha to know she's got shooters out here, dude. <laughs> she couldn't find anything. She couldn't find any dirt on Nagi. Is that why? He's like, God damn it. <laughs> These two <laughs> holding me down. <laughs> I'm going to get one of them at least. <laughs> Take a drag one uh, with me. <laughs> nah, I, 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 I mean, to be fair, once again, 5th Gen just did come out the gates really hard. Mm-hmm. So I, I think, especially with groups like this, longevity is a huge thing. You know, how many girls did we have we seen over the years that like were like, really like just really popped off at the beginning and just fell off or vice versa girls that like were kind of eh at the beginning and then really became the face of their generation oh Saito like Asuka bro <laughs> mm. all right you know so like you know you never know you know yeah um all right we stalled long enough here's the, here's the oh, first wow. member it's, let's uh, fucking go the masters of padding time okay so I, I guess they're going in order Shimizu who is the center of their 
strawberry, what no, raspberry. Are we watching at the same time? Are we going to watch this all? Blackberry and raspberry. It's like 14 minutes long. I'm not going to watch the whole thing, bro. (laughs) Shimizurio is the first member to get the full version documentary, everybody. Sorry, oh, he's not I'll watch it. (laughs) Um, For the sake of discussion, we we can. Oh, she's like singing right in the beginning. And some. Hey, where is this on their YouTube yet, is it? It is. Why don't I see it on their YouTube? Right, Are you so, not subscribed to them? You not seeing? I, no, I'm on their YouTube channel. I'm saying I don't see the what the it's, video. It's, it's it's there, bro. Yeah, I'm watching it right now. Nine seconds ago for me, dude. It's I I refresh yeah. and the newest thing is the eighth single fucking little uh, mm. concert, the Sugio ceremony. Uh, it looks Benio. like uh, she has yeah, a little. Someone drop it in chat. Sibling, drop it in your chat, dude. <laughs> um, Thanks, Mister Box. We got our interview in like a classroom. Some baby pics. I don't know. Non natural lighting is strong. What I like about this is just simply the fact that like we have some normal ass fucking lighting shots of them. <laughs> so I can actually see what they look like. Yeah, I yeah, finally sure. know what this yeah. girl fucking looks like. <laughs> <laughs> right. They couldn't even really tell in the in the video, you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, though the lighting in the classroom is a little weird, it's like why is it so yellow? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it is kind of. Uh, it's probably the uh, you know softbox like, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, or not, they just not like daylight. Yeah, they they took it a little. Oh, we thought the sun was gonna be yeah. up when we started this. It like changes, so they were probably there in the afternoon. Like, mm, if you go from like the that. beginning and then you go to, like, two minutes, the lighting's different. Yeah. It's like, yeah, the yeah. sign came down or something. Uh, I see. So, they're just, they're probably just oh, no. there for a time. She, does she, she plays baseball, dude? She's out in the field and shit, dude, in the stadium? No, no, God damn it. One. That's the last thing Hinata Zaka needed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. They're just another more one. fucking baseball. <laughs> Making dude. this keep going. Oh, we got the footage of her being selected. Right. I think it's interesting that they they just wear their like high school uniform. Mm. Um. Whereas like other idol groups don't, they just wear whatever just mm. normal clothes. Mm. The twenty year old have to put does Nogi on. do it? Uh, I remember. I remember uh, Kiyaki Zaka. They did right the the initial selection. Yeah, but the age range for this was like. Up to twenty, right? We had a couple of nineteen and twenty year olds in this. Yeah, group. So the twenty year olds like so they're just have to put back on this high school. Yeah, uniform. yeah. They're like, oh, it's a good thing I kept this. Yeah, that's, I thought <laughs> yeah. that was weird. Because there, yeah, there is a twenty year old. Maybe that's what tricked them, you know? <laughs> they're wearing this high school uniform. Oh, that girl. <laughs> they, they don't know this is two, this is two or three years old. They'll so never showing know. some, uh, you know, dance lessons at the camp and stuff. Which one of them had to run a hundred kilometers? <laughs> Oh, this ain't a whack group. <laughs> <laughs> so there's some behind the scenes. Of them meeting each other. Yeah. Someone's wearing fox ears. Oh, no. Okay. I guess she likes baseball. They're not showing much like, like oh, if she has like any special skill. Oh, wait. There we go. She is. She was a cheerleader. Confirmed. Cheerleader. Right, oh, there was there a picture. Yeah, there was a picture of her or something, like doing the cheerleading thing at the stands. Mm-hmm. That was her, right? Yeah, like that yeah. one picture. Yeah, confirmed. Yeah, and they have it. There was the tweet her, yeah, that was yeah, like, "Oh, could this be?" Like, I guess, like she's doing the thing. I didn't realize. Well, what that if they was showed that picture illegal, in the dude. documentary? Yes, this picture. All right. She was. That was her own tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Documentaries are not in 4K. Ah, uh, unfortunate. Music videos only, guys. Missed opportunity. Yeah. What Damn, is 4K? You, you, you just want them to fucking bring export? like a an Ari to their fucking high school, Josh? What is just... <laughs> they just don't have to crop as much. They could shoot intentionally for 4K. <laughs> Could be an iPhone, bro. 
Why are they shooting on iPhones? No, I mean, like, you know, iPhones can shoot 4K, so. No, that's true. But I mean, the software doesn't match up with the hardware, you know, as much yeah. as a regular camera. All right. So there's your first member, the center, currently, for the fourth mm -hmm. members, Shimizu Ryo. Finally yeah, get so to see how she actually looks. Good stuff. Right. <laughs> 11 more, dude. 11 more to go. 11 more days. <sighs> Next episode, we'll have <laughs> not all of them yet. Yeah, well, we'll have a little bit more than half by next week. Mm -hmm. Yep. See, maybe they did this on purpose. They're like, oh, slow podcast. You know, they, they do it around this oh. time. We're going to upload it at this time. They have to all stop right. their podcast and stop just to, talk just about to watch it. it. <laughs> Dang, they're trying to monopolize the conversation. Uh -huh. Well, that's uh, fine. We only had like two, like one bit of news for each of the other groups, anyways. Dude, yeah. you know? but, uh, there you go. Fourth gen doc, doc, you more to come. Let's move on. There's more Hinata news mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to talk about. What else do we have? Some, some goods. Oh, Ooh, we got some goodies from the tour. They're currently on tour, like yeah. three stops. <laughs> but uh, we got more goods here. The little keychain and the mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. new single specific stuff. Look at this thing. It's the um, thing on the covers, which is cool. Oh, the little logo thing? The little uh, yeah. thingy on the cover. <laughs> yeah. The... And Whatever. we got the tease for the tour, the happy smile tour, everybody. We have, it kind of uh, sounds a little culty. I mean, that's that's how they are, bro. The happy aura, <laughs> bro. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Cult shit. Um, yeah, so we got like the main logo for the tour. We got the reading uh, rainbow over here swirly ass Yo, thing i want i want the fucking baseball jersey dude and then we got the jerseys and then we got like the big t with the rainbow mm -hmm. it looks like some sort of like non-profit organization <laughs> <Look up. laughs> happy smile non-profit no it's a cult <laughs> uh, jersey's cool the H hnz virus <laughs> I oh, can't no. un think of it not not as like some fucking classification of a of a disease or some shit, but yeah, the jerseys are cool. You know, they're into the baseball stuff. Mm -hmm. Some so. light sticks. I, I just want to make a though. fan club account for this, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo, llama, you're in the chat, right? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you order your stuff yet? Can, if you order for me, can I just PayPal you? <laughs> oh, we got the hat, like the jean hat. Oh, where is it? I'm gonna keep scrolling. Next page. Yeah, yeah. The the denim hat is is kind of. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. What, what the heck? There's so many photo thingies. Okay, light sticks. Next page. Um. Oh, here we go. We got two different ones. We got the the khaki mm -hmm. and the denim. Nice. Got. I hope that's embroidered shit. It better be. Right now, it's just like a mock-up of uh, the logo. There's a, there's a mm -hmm. the rainbow. I like that logo, like that design. Oh shit, that's big. Of the um. The semicircles. Mm. And then the Hinata Zaga makes it look like a sun. Like the, it kind of goes with the thing. The right? letters, right? Like the rays. Yeah. Nice, nice. But yeah. And anybody, uh, pick up some, uh, some well, of these like goods. The Poco ramen. The ramen. Oh, the keychain. That's cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's like taking a yeah, bath yeah, in he's it. Chilling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. It's some like Odin designs. from fucking. One piece, am I right, guys? Have we not? <laughs> I told Jimmy about that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that, that's why he knows that. <laughs> I was like, where did they pull that shit out of me? <laughs> <laughs> that's like episode 1000 shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Jimmy? 
<laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> secretly do. been watching <laughs> One Piece. <laughs> um, yeah. Anybody want to get us the de- de- denim hats? Like we got a license plate, bro. Put that shit on my car. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> surely it won't get pulled over. <laughs> Um, I think we got a tote bag, just like everybody else. Mm. I don't know. The, the tote bag kind of looks like your kid made it in like kindergarten, and you're like, oh, my, "My kid made this. I'm gonna walk around with it." This is just like an, uh, like I don't know. It's not the actual bag you're gonna get. It's like a plastic bag <laughs> <laughs> with a logo on it. Like, oh, what the hell? It's all crinkled up. <laughs> Should have been ten cents. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> yeah, whenever whenever you go to the line to line up at the concert, oh, do you want a bag by the way? No. Like, oh yeah, sure. Thirty two bucks. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Damn. The old Yisama would be like, all right, all right. <laughs> I guess I'm already here. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. Um. Yeah, some some cool goods. I like the design on, on some of these. No one ever offers to pick these up for us, so whatever. Mm-mm. Why do I even do time. this podcast, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, if you are going to get it, you, how, does, how does this work again? Do you just ship it to you? You have to be fan club. You have to have a clout. Fan club only? And then do you pick it up at like the show or... It's different from how Nogi does it. Because Nogi will have like... The you have to go to the show for Nogi, right? Pre-order period. And then after the pre-order period, like it's it starts shipping. Oh, okay. So they ship to you. Yeah. Nogi, you can use Bai now, so... Mm. So, um, yeah. I think that's it for Hinata Zaka, right? Anything else? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Should be it. All right, let's move on to Sakurazaka 46. What's going on uh, over there? Some big news, boys. We oh. got some big, big news. Is that a new single? Could it be? New we got a new gen? campaign with Lawson's. Let's oh. fucking go, boys, huh? Hey. Did you like some details on this Lawson's campaign? I got it for you. It's oh. going to be starting sometime late in November. That is all the information I have for you. Thank you. <laughs> um, so yeah, so That's far it. there there is uh, the, the obviously the news page from the Hinata Zak website. There's also the the Lawson's page itself for the event. But so far they haven't really said anything. But I mean, you know, just to have some discussion, I think some fans uh, are are anticipating maybe a single release to come with uh, this campaign. Ah, oh. yeah, yeah. Which makes okay, sense okay, time okay. wise, right? As far as like from from when uh, their album came out in Masats Kesu, mm-hmm. um, and then in time with uh, the the announcement of third gen, right? Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. or maybe maybe third gen is gonna be the one who's doing this Lawson event. Who knows, right? I think I think there's Ooh. a lot of speculation yeah. in there for what this could possibly be, and maybe that's why it's so, uh, you know, so. Uh, Fushigi right now, you know, so uh, so mysterious. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this isn't their first campaign with Lawson. They had one like in August, right? Yeah, it's tied into Masatsukisu and their album. So hey, November mm-hmm. they still have room mm-hmm. for one more single this year, right? And finish it off uh, at the end of the year, like the promotional um, run for it. Yep, yep. So we'll see, man. Lawson. Um, yeah, thank thank you, Lawson's, for, for always continuing to support my girls, dude. Please send yeah. us a gift card. Please send yeah. us a gift card. Um I'm waiting for them to announce the new generation. I feel like No, he not that did it first, right? Auditions? Yeah. Who is first to announce? To announce new auditions, I feel yeah, like they so. they should have something soon, maybe by next month. Yeah, just curious. at least I bet before the end of the year. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, isn't but I think that's what happened with fifth gen Nogi, right? They're gonna be like, oh, we're gonna announce something. At, oh yeah, that's true. In yeah, December. Yeah. But then December is always like super busy for them. Yeah, with all the end of the year mm-hmm. stuff and, and the shows. Yeah. So uh, I don't so know. So if it doesn't happen next month, it'll probably be like February. <laughs> yeah. True. Um, yeah. So like, I guess if they don't do a single, unless they go, all right, Kohaku, oh, who's that? Third oh. gen? <laughs> oh, who the hell are these girls? <laughs> Just like when second gen came. Who's that girl? <laughs> Just inserting. Right? They were like already part of the group. No announcements. Uh, or yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be interesting if they kept that formula and just like slowly right. starting. Just, just, sneak, just them. sneak them in, dude. Yeah. Just slowly. Gonna see someone you don't recognize? <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That would be interesting if they kept that up. Yeah. Oh, we'll like see. at any time. Um, that's, that's not much from Sakurazaka, so we're just gonna keep going. Nogi mm-hmm. news. Um. They're out it's, here. It's more individual member news. Tsutsui Ayame is going to do a podcast, guys. She's one of us. We're <laughs> obsolete now. No. She's directly attacking us. She's <laughs> going to talk about Sakamichi series. Oh, no. no. She's cornering our no. market. Dude. <laughs> Who's no, going to watch the um, old guys now, talk about Now it. our listeners will finally have a podcast hosted by someone who knows what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no, it is not three Damn old men. It. It's a cute Japanese idol. <laughs> um, yeah, this is for the drama that she's in. Mm-hmm. Um, something something wa mimi no naka. Uh, it's going to be on Spotify. Um, I mean, if I could just load this this page. Yeah, it is Spotify. not loading for there me right now. Yeah. There you go. There's a little preview right now but the drama doesn't start airing until like the 20th or something like that so um keep an eye out for it the drama is about like uh like her character is into like mystery stuff so she does a podcast about it she does the the true crime <laughs> podcast <laughs> true crime. <laughs> but like no one else like her family doesn't know that she does it or whatever mm-hmm. so she keeps it a little secret just like yeah, us just like us <laughs> <laughs> We're all the oh, same. We're all the same. We're just like Tatsuya Ayame. Um, oh, thank you, chat, for the link. Here's the, the tw- Twitter page for the drama if you want to keep up with it. Oh, there's a trailer now. Nice. Uh-huh. TX underscore Mimi no Naka. So, yeah, there's like mystery crimes to solve and then. Oh, the characters actually listen to her podcast. Okay. Oh, okay. So is that her role? This whole yeah. Thing? She's like okay. a high school student that does podcasts on mysteries and whatnot. Mm. Um, yeah. Wait, is the detective her dad? <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind, of, that's kind of funny. So Sounds like the like dad's actual cop. Interest, dude. Like yeah. the dad's an actual Mrs. like police, <laughs> like a detective doing the the actual mysteries, and she's like doing like a podcast on mm-hmm. the things her dad is investigating, but like he he doesn't know that she does the podcast, which is kind of weird. He could just like listen to it and be like, eh, she "Sounds like my daughter." I don't know. I <laughs> know, right? Wait, is my daughter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe she's got the the voice changer on, dude. Oh mm. yeah, yeah. She does the podcast, and it sounds like a the deep voice of an old man, dude. <laughs> right it's like oh man this guy's wise <laughs> little does he know <laughs> Jess, i think she helps him solve the murders oh okay okay makes mm. uh, like an interesting duo in if that's the case like i see it like towards the end where he finds out who she is and stuff and be like yo mm. what the fuck <laughs> and, and like they're like oh no you, you you can't do this and then yeah. later he she comes out and then helps him in the big way and it's like oh yeah and the hug <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that kind of thing, you know. Yeah, I'll check out an episode if if uh, it gets sub uh, or something. I don't yeah, know. I mean, I I I don't want to try to figure out a crime drama, <laughs> right? <laughs> Japanese. You mean, you don't know all the vocab. Like, for the longest time, like medical dramas were my favorite 
type of Japanese dramas, but damn, dude, there's no way <laughs> I'd watch that shit without subs. Mm-hmm. What the hell are they even mm-hmm. talking about? These, this, all this terminology, dude. <laughs> all the katakana. <laughs> it's like, oh, what does he have? A uh, heart problem? No, it's stomach gastric. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was wrong this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess that's it. That's all we got um, for the week, man. I guess, you know, I'll, I'll drop one last bit of news. This is oh. Slope Podcast News. Let me sit straight. <sighs> Everyone, I have finally downloaded Hina message. Let me throw that I, up on. I subs. I subscribed to my first person on Hina message. My Hinata Zaka Oshiman. Oh. What was that? Was this so pause? Is he? What? What is? Wait, what is he not the pause? I, I needed to fill in the air. You know, it was quiet. <laughs> Uh, oh, there oh. it is. He's made a declaration. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. Who is that? Nippon who? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's gone and changed. I'm like searching Google frantically for this app. Oh, there we go. I need to search for it in Japanese. There you go, everybody. Hina message. It, mm-hmm. it, it was her, her hipster ass photography. Oh, I'm gonna actually go to Instagram. That 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 like sold me, dude, on on IG, and I was like, you know what? I I'm gonna I'm gonna go follow her on Hino Message, and then I was there like, there we go. I think that's a sign. I think that's what is, a sign. What is it again? I downloaded this <laughs> this fucking app, dude, just to follow, what is what is, what is her Insta? Oh, there it is. I found it. I'll it's a uh, Miku I'll, underscore Osushi. I found it. I found it. You got everybody? Chat said, what about Ni- Nibu's gamer girl selfies and FPS clips? Dude, I don't play first person shooter games, dude. Yeah, I, it doesn't, doesn't it, interest it doesn't James. <sighs> but, uh, yeah. If I wanted an e-girl, I would have just gone to TwitchCon with Josh, dude. <laughs> I just... <laughs> you know, he's just, he's, he has Not my own sheet. Oh, yeah, she's... I'll probably eventually give Nibu a follow too. You know, this is, you can't. You don't. It's not. Like you can only follow one member. But I was just. You know, I think. I think it was just indicative. If if I went to go download, the app specifically for O Sushi's, like mm. Hina message, I was like, I I think that's. I think it is what it is, dude. Look at yeah, all this I, film I, photography. I have O Sushi hand, to the hips twice thing. now, dude. Twice in this podcast. <laughs> I'm about to get kicked out, dude. I'm about to get kicked off the show, dude. But they're she's gonna, got this uh, gonna... context Josh, aria. Josh, boy, Tron, and 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 RJ are gonna get on a couch and talk about how disappointed they 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 are in me. Mm-hmm. We need a talking stick. Yeah, dude. SNL is gonna make a very bad skit about it, dude. It's gonna be. <laughs> You can see on your Twitter uh, feeds. There you go. Um, Everyone on Twitter says, who the fuck is Slope Club? Why are they recommending me all this tweet about this shit, dude? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, anyways, that was uh, that was uh, that was my last little bit of news, dude. Uh, everyone, go go follow Osushi on Instagram if you haven't already. Uh, yeah. But that is it for the news this week. So. Mm-hmm. I think we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with the TV show highlights. And we're back. Welcome back, everybody. It's time for TV show highlights, where we recap the weekly TV shows of the three Sakamichi series groups. First up, Hinata Zaka de Aima Show. We're still going over the presentations. It's uh, Marimoto right now. She is sharing... Mm -hmm some things uh i i i'm gonna be honest music. i watched this episode while i was doing other shit and I, I i caught bits and pieces i think i'm definitely gonna wait for subs for this mm-hmm. one looks um, like she is introducing uh, a witch damn she listens to a witch okay it's like things to like help you go to sleep but like yeah oh what <laughs> what yeah the first thing yeah, she does yeah. is so like, what, what, like what's like the, the best three music she to listen listens to, to a witch to go to sleep a witch yeah. is like a pretty hard dude i, I don't know <laughs> yeah, dude, um, that's, uh, dude like her 
I, I was gonna like I like, see I was listening to like the food she recommends you eat before you go to sleep, mm-hmm. and like you know it's like oh yogurt, mm-hmm. pudding, uh, a rare cheesecake, and I'm like oh is that because of like uh, the the casein content and the the fucking protein you know that's a that's a slower digesting protein you know like cottage cheese and shit so that's why people recommend you eat that stuff i'm like is that or is it just shit that she likes dude i have no fucking clue i can't i can't fucking tell her. i think it's just things she, she seems like a weirdo yeah especially uh, with her music choice i, I think it's just things mm-hmm. that she likes it's like, just eating cheesecake listen to the music about to go to sleep <laughs> i don't know if i should be like if i was an artist if i should be happy that like oh yeah she listened to my my work to go to sleep <laughs> like <laughs> What? It's funny they played an example of what she does, and then like they start playing the music in the studio. She's like a little bit louder, a little bit louder, louder. <laughs> <laughs> like the members start coming with their ears louder. <laughs> She's like perfect. <laughs> yeah. Is that how loud she plays the music to go to sleep, dude? What a weirdo. Has to feel the music through her body, you know. Um, is it mostly her this episode? Let me keep going. It's her, here. and then it's, oh, it's uh, Manafi. Mm-hmm. Oh, is it matter? Oh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Susie too. Susie's like, yeah. oh, best uh, like pit stop foods and shit, mm-hmm. dude. Oh, that's T- that's TBH valuable. Kind of, kind of a letdown. I'm gonna be honest. Oh. I got hyped up for no reason. Dude. I know, right? What is it? Well, I mean, it's like oh, mitarashi dango. I mean, that's a, that's a solid choice. Well, like I don't I don't have experience with that shit. Like in Japan, yeah, well, that's like, what the pit stop that's food is a, like an, another universe. You know, it's so much. I mean, better you, you don't want. <laughs> Warm taquitos from Seven Eleven. <laughs> oh, dude! No, but so like, bad. there's yeah, actually <laughs> places well, in okay, Japan, well, right? That's just like a, a yeah a stop, and like, oh, mm-hmm. let's just stop at a Seven Eleven randomly, like mm-hmm. we do here. Well, her things was like mitarashi dango, milk, and then some tea. Must be. Yeah. And I was milk, like, bro. I was like, the fuck? I mean, maybe I'm missing something. You know, maybe there's some key. All right, when we go to Vegas, here. we have to stop by and get milk. See what the hype is about. No, dude, <laughs> Japanese milk is thick as fuck. Okay, their oh, di- their okay. their milk is built different. We'll dude. stop by a farm. If we see a farm, <laughs> we'll get some. Like, milk. you ever watch like variety show and shit? They like the members are like, oh, I can't drink milk, and you're like, bitch, it's just milk. What do you mean? And then you watch them drink it, and it's like they're like chugging cheese, dude. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. that shit is thick. It's cream or what? heavy cream or what? Uh, and then what is what is Manafi presenting? Um, I have no idea what, what this is. Home. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, yeah, more presentations. Probably yep, need no. subs for this if you don't know Japanese. Oh, it was a uh, Osaka dialect and making it. Nicer. Oh, that's right. Yeah, her thing was on Osaka dialect because she's like, oh, you guys um, think it sounds all okay. scary and shit, right? Yeah, Kansai mm-hmm. Ben. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's that's Hinai, everybody. Next mm-hmm. up, we got Soko Saku. We're continuing with the art. Oh, um, they're like doing a team thing where they can get five berets, mm. <laughs> four berets. <laughs> 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 like how I saw it, I was like, <laughs> says, says it, yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, so they 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 had to like guess. Right, like the yeah. So they had like they had to draw art. like a um um an animal that's an amalgamation of four different animals, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then the person guessing has to guess what animal it is. Right, the other some, team gets to choose the order that they base it off. Dope folks, so chimera like, art out here. Dude. Yeah, that's that chimera ant art for for you, my right guys. <laughs> Did not watch past episode eight. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> worst decision boy has made. <laughs> Can't do it. Um, and then they do other shit, like towards the end where they, uh, uh, like Matsuri was guessing like this, the, their songs, right? From the art or whatever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I was like, what the hell are they? Do- How is she getting these? I know, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nagare Dama, like what? But uh, yeah. Yeah, I would, wouldn't be able to guess any of those. I feel like that's all like member to member kind of stuff dude I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be honest at some point i would just be fucking guessing name song names like nagare <laughs> dama kind of makes sense because like uh, i mean it makes sense once i know it's nagare dama you know it's like okay that's mm-hmm, supposed mm-hmm. to be a gun 
and that's the bullet. So uh, what other song would that be? It's Nagare Dama. I would put a waiter. You, you, you know, uh, Jesus Christ, Josh. <laughs> um, but like, they're like, cause that's like, who, Pon, Pon's guessing, right? And it's uh, Chukimon drawing, and that uses up like almost the entirety of their time. And I'm just like, I don't know, man. Instead of being like Wakanai Doshio the whole time, like just start throwing out songs, yeah, right? dude. Mm-hmm. You know. What was she drawing? Uh, it was uh, Joken Hansen. Crying. Okay. Uh, yeah. So there's there's the art right there. Um, First half is fun to play along with because you're like, what is that? what are they drawing? Mm-hmm. There's some nice works of art, dude. Look at those fins. Mm-hmm. Shit like that, but. Yeah, that's uh, Soko. Sa- oh, Tsuchi also drew, and his oh, yeah. turned yeah, out pretty all, good. Yeah, are always hella good, dude. Yeah, look at yeah. that. Yeah, he's like, oh, dude. Yeah, here is my fucking, uh, like eel praying mantis, a hippo pig. Mm-hmm. Like, oh fuck, that do be like an eel praying mantis <laughs> hippo pig, dude. Exactly what I pictured too. She. <laughs> um, yeah, so. We got more creatures to like put on shirts or whatever you want, you know, <laughs> references and whatnot. But, mm-hmm. um, that's Soko Saku, last show, Nogichu, where we are continuing with the shopping, you know. Oh, yeah. We had uh, Asuka wanted an e bike because, you know, she, she wanted to get around, bruh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So they presented three different designs, which was cool. One was a very like classic looking folding bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. Had oh, the little dude, I, I the had battery in the fucking leather pouch thing. That was cute, man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and then we had one that's like a little bit more modern looking, you know? Yeah. Kind of a BMX style design. Yeah. And then the third one is a road bike pretty much Mm because it's a trick so i don't know anything about bikes but that second one seemed like the best one the no dude the trek bikes are are where it's fucking at oh really because the big thing about that is it's it's fucking light dude it's it's gonna be light as all heck oh yeah also the battery is in the frame which is a Mm -hmm. cool design oh right and then you get the range extender thingy Ooh. because like you know they're showing off the shocks on the uh on the second bike you know but Unless if you're if you're riding in the city, you really don't need that kind of suspension. You know mm. what I mean? That's that's really more for like mountain biking and stuff. Mm. I mean, I'm sure it still like makes her a super comfy ride, but it, you know, it's like you know, adding the suspension and then the bigger tires just makes it heavier. And obviously, you have the assistance from the the battery, but then that just uses more battery power, right? Whereas if you have the lighter bike, you need less power. I was expecting mm. to see like the the fat tire Super Seventy Three, oh, or whatever damn, style dude. bike, you know. But now nah, yeah, they, yeah. they they picked up some pretty normal looking mm-hmm. bikes. My I actually like the one first up. one because it folds, yeah. dude. I'm like, oh, right, that's cool. Compact. That's like the perfect city commuter bike. Yeah, mm. yeah, dude. They let Himura buy one too, and he bought the same <laughs> thing Asuka did. The second. Now they could ride together with the same bike. They're like, oh, y'all matching now. Also, Yumiki bought a, a pillow off to the side. Oh, yeah. Like, just <laughs> she was like laying down like, on right. the thing. Because like, right. yeah, she had to get fitted and shit. She's like, oh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. <laughs> um, and they brought the, the Billy Mays type of dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Legend. The uh, yeah, knife, dude. That's, that's some crazy ass uh, looking serrations. Nah, it's a fucking... That's a that's a rip off, dude. <laughs> like the you moment it all... gets a little bit dull, you can't ever bring it back. Yeah, right, that's yeah. the thing. You can't resharpen that shit, dude. You know, because it's the 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 shape. You'll, yeah. you'll like remove. It'll be it good for like a month, and then after that, well, mm-hmm. what do I do with this? Definitely and everything he did out. with it, you could just do with a sharp a enough normal. knife. Dude. Yeah. yeah, if he used any other yeah. knife that he had there, he would have done the same thing. I guess it's like, I was like not I was like, that only expensive. Only a fool would would buy this. And then all of them were like, I'll take one. I was like, no. But you see Umezawa, she was like, Mm-mm. she was like, nope. 
<laughs> she was the I know yeah, this meanwhile, scam. Yeah, you can you can tell the ones who don't cook, dude. Kaki's like, yeah, I'll take one. <laughs> it's like Kaki, no. <laughs> They got they got swindled. Uma's just like I know this shit, bro. Mm-hmm. I it's bought like one before, best, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Crossing your arms. Mm. And then uh, Mizuki wanted the massager thingy. Where was the Thera gun, dude? The How Thera are you not gonna gun. have the OG, dude? Um. And then like brought, she, like, she's using it the whole time. <laughs> it doesn't stop. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna take it because the other <laughs> he one like she steps off to right? the back as they're presenting <laughs> the other one. She's just like, <laughs> got to use it for free. Yeah. And then the other she one she already one, has. Right? Yeah. She like, yeah. She's like, oh yeah, I use that shit every day. And I was like, fuck, maybe I maybe need that, I that. should. <laughs> yeah. See me next week looking like Mizuk. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Jimmy, what'd you do? <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> you looking fine, my man. <laughs> Hello, friends. So Ready for Mukai, Jimmy. You can call your master podcast. Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one, Joda wanted a uh, massage chair. <laughs> dude, okay. These were kind of sick, chair. though. Right. Like, the first one is so small, dude. And it, it looks like a normal ass chair, you know? Mm-hmm. It's all inconspicuous, bro. It meant to be in your living room, but then. Like, the foot thing comes out. I was like, damn. Because mm-hmm. I, I have a massage chair, and that shit's fucking huge, dude. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. You know? And, it, like, you look at that, and you're like, okay, that's definitely a fucking massage chair. Because it has, like, the leg thing. Yeah. Where it, like, cups in for your feet and shit. Mm-hmm. That's know? cool, like, man. It comes out from the bottom. Mm-hmm. Though, if Yoda fits in this, it must be pretty small. Right? It's like, hmm. Yeah. Like, are there different sizes of this? Because I imagine if any of us try it, we'd be like... <laughs> I'm sitting on no, I think, think armrest. <laughs> I think by design they're supposed to like was be it be able to like extend based upon like how, oh, your yeah. height. Okay, yeah, yeah. Makes but I mean sense. even even like the seat itself. Oh, mm. I mean you mean like that? Yeah, that might be like fucking tiny, right? Yeah. It's like we have like one butt cheek on there. <laughs> uh and there's also the cockpit on. Oh, oh yeah. It's like damn. Dude, she she would look fucking... like peaked peak relaxing dude <laughs> right Maybe she was just like whatever i'm buying it i don't care <laughs> right she's just like bro yeah, i need this in my life <laughs> oh you didn't yeah, even dude, i was like what <laughs> you don't know the price yet i'm buying it dude she's got that sweet gundam money dude she's gotta right. buy a cockpit dude <laughs> that's like you're crazy dude like yeah. What's yeah, the, the guy put the face the shield down, dude. What is the dude, it looks it? it looks like one of the fucking space pods that the Saiyans arrive in on Dragon <laughs> Ball Z, dude. The... <laughs> I was expecting fucking Nappa to come out of it, dude. <laughs> Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Uh, yeah, buys it without even uh hearing the price. It's like five k. Yeah, dude. Center, She's like, centers I don't be on care. a different level. Dude. <laughs> I'm gonna work harder. I'm gonna get it. Yeah, it's like Yoda and and Yamashita, those who get the most like drama roles. Mm-hmm. Again, their bag. I'm gonna buy this thing. All right, let's go. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's Nogichu. Yeah. Um, you guys watch anything else? I, I downloaded like the uh, was it that the, the the show that Yumiki was on with Sanma, like his show, oh, Sanma Goten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I haven't watched it yet, but I was gonna. I, I, I apparently she was very funny on it. She did a good job. Oh yeah, I, mm-hmm. I, like I seen clips, but I haven't actually watched the whole thing yet. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I skipped through it. And she, she had a lot a lot of quick little moments, so she yeah. was able to like enter herself and like. <laughs> It's funny because there was one moment where like they asked her a question. She's like, "Uh, uh, oh, sorry, you're taking too long." No, no, wait, wait. And the, 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 another comedian was like, "No, give her a chance. Give her a chance." Uh, yeah, <laughs> like being on a show like that is pretty savage, right? Like an AKB member went on, right? Because she was popular, and, then, and they had and a whole they made episode the whole bit about her not doing. Yeah, because she didn't show, do right? shit. Like she said stuff, but it wasn't like good, good enough for mm-hmm. the broadcast, so they cut it or whatever. Mm-hmm. So that was pretty insightful. But um, yeah, check that out. Uh, what's uh, Pario was on Sentochu. If anyone watched that, 
Uh, it's like mm. Tosochu, but they're not getting, they're not playing hide and seek or tag. They're playing dodgeball. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, I'm not going to spoil it, but yeah, what? she was on that. If you, uh, mm-hmm. if anyone was interested, um, but, uh, yeah, that's all I watched. So that's it, I guess. Yeah, that's all yeah. I watched. Too. So that means that's it for this week's episode. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're watching on YouTube, let us know in the comment section if you thought about uh, the new fourth gen members of Hinata Zaka. We're getting more info about them. What are you, are you guys excited for Tutsui Ayame's true crime podcast, huh? You're going to abandon us for her? Better not. Better see you over at the twitch.tv every Tuesdays. It's around 7 p.m. Pacific time Tuesdays where we go over all the news. But this will be it from us this week. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.